Hey everyone, I'm going to show you all the art supplies I use to paint Sadness from inside out. The very first art supply you see is I have my drawing on a pad of paper. The drawing that you are seeing, it was first drawn with pencil, and then I used a Sharpie to outline all of my pencil marks. The white paper is actually not regular drawing paper, it is actually watercolor paper. They make special paper just for watercolors. It is made to handle all of the water that you put on the paper. It's more durable, it won't rip, and since it's thicker, it's not going to curl up as easily as the thin paper does. So I have my drawing here on watercolor paper that I'm going to be painting on. The next thing I have is I have a cup of water. I also have a paper towel to dab my paintbrush on if I need to. Over the years, I've collected many different kinds of paintbrushes from different painting projects I have done. So I have thick ones, thin ones, tiny ones, and then some that are different shapes. I also have two different kinds of watercolors on my table. This first one is one that many of you have seen before, that they are hard, and what you do is you add water to make them work. Now this is an art supply that might be new to many of you. They actually have watercolors that come in tubes just like this. When you untwist the cap, there is a thick liquid that will come out when you push it. You are not going to paint right with this thicker liquid. You are going to still be putting it onto a tray or a painter's palette. You're gonna squirt it out and you are still gonna add water to it. This is by Windsor and Newton. And then this is a painter's palette. You have all these little spaces and little areas in here where you can squirt your watercolors that come out of the tube so they're nice and separate. You can add water to them to change how the watercolors look, if it's thicker or thinner. water you add, the lighter it is, the less water, the darker it is. So that is from there. More water, less pigment makes it lighter. Many blues to work with. They're all different. Okay, so which one is most like her? So if you look, this is gonna be too dark and that looks more blueberry-ish where it almost looks like more of a blue raspberry color they were going with. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. This phthalo blue color.
I am done.